survive survival guide i think people think like it's not a big deal having survival in the title it could also be like the, the college yeah the graduates i don't even want to say playbook but yeah the graduates playbook guide to navigating college or i don't know that's interesting mistakes in college so the graduate survival guide five mistakes you can't afford to make at college yeah destroy that food i think roasted vegetables and potatoes are one of the easiest things to make i didn't think i was going to vlog today but i decided to because i had a meeting with my book agent to talk about changing the title that i originally had and just other little nuancey things that i need to do in preparation for it being published still very excited for it can't wait for you guys to see it i the reason i wanted to vlog today was because i'm extremely frustrated with this job search and I'm gonna tell you guys why, why I'm frustrated. So many companies are fickle. Deloitte is building out this risk advisory, risk assessment division in regulatory affairs and health sciences. So I said, great, maybe this is a great time to join the organization. I was asked by the recruiter to, I actually applied originally for the senior consultant position because I didn't really understand the hierarchies and how they work in Deloitte. So essentially you come in as a, as a consultant, which is basically entry level. Then a senior consultant is about two, three years of experience. Then you become a manager, which is about five years of experience. Then a senior manager, which is about eight. And then after senior manager, you become a principal or managing director. And that's the highest level position that you could have in Deloitte. So when I originally applied for the senior consultant job, I thought that that was equivalent to associate director or director, but I was wrong. So they said that I am more up to par for the manager role. I said, okay, within, I think it was, I, I applied two days later, uh, they came back. And I, I thought maybe consulting would be a good fit for me just because I like the consulting realm. I did my first interview, amazing. We went over time with one of the people that I was talking to. We had a great connection. We vibed on different health authorities and regulations. And they said that they were so happy because it was someone who had really great technical experience, such as myself, because a lot of consultants come from sales or different backgrounds. So I was like, okay, cool. Within the next few days, my second interview was scheduled. I was like, okay, great. That second interview went even better. So I got an email from the uh, resourcing person who, or the person who does scheduling, the scheduling coordinator and said, oh, we're moving you to the final round. You're gonna interview with the managing director. I said, cool, you know, no stress, no nothing. I'm like, all right, cool. Two, two days or a day before my interview, the recruiter calls me and says, oh, we've decided we really need to find people with medical affairs experience. Now, let me tell you why I was irritated about that. For one, you knew my resume said regulatory affairs. And while I can easily pivot to any direction or any department or lend a hand in anywhere, why would you continue to interview me if you know that you wanted somebody with a strong medical affairs background when you knew my resume said regulatory affairs? It doesn't make sense. They said, yeah, we hope we can be in touch, all that. But to me, it just made me feel like they're very disorganized. And I think maybe because they're building out that department, they're trying to figure out what makes the most sense. But when you're a consultant, you don't necessarily have medical affairs experience even though they need a consultant in medical affairs, you should be able to be versatile across the whole platform of the pharmaceutical industry. And when I first was talking to the recruiter in the beginning, they said, don't worry, you're gonna be a good fit, it's okay. I said, are you sure? Because normally medical affairs people are people with a PhD, a PharmD, who can go out and have these off-label conversations. They said, no, you're a good fit, you're perfect. I really hate that because it wasted my time and I also turned down two consulting positions already 
because of company A that I told you guys about in the beginning of this video and now company B, which is Deloitte. So it's just extremely frustrating. I think it's important for all of you watching my YouTube videos to understand how much there will be ebbs and flows in navigating your career and how much you will have to continue to fight and advocate for yourself in your career if you wanna reach certain heights. That's where I'm at right now.